Huh. Well, this was unexpected. What's going on, y'all? My name is Jordan, back again like I never left. Yes, yes, it's been about two weeks since I last posted a video. And actually, it's been a minute since I posted a reaction. If you saw my last video, I talked about how it's, you know, that time of the year where it's my year-end list. And I even mentioned that I'm not going to post reactions anymore, at least. But you know what? It's new Travis Scott. And more importantly, it looks like to be his label, Cactus Jack, or as the name of the album is, Jack Boys. All I can really say about this project is this. I'm not going to really look too deep into this. I'm not really having the highest expectations for this for a few reasons. One, they put this out at the bitter end of 2019. And granted, I'm sure they're not putting this out so you get on any year end list. If they are, it's probably going to be for next year if it's that good. I just really don't really have the highest expectations for this, mostly because I don't hate anybody on Cactus Jack. I don't. I think Travis Scott is building a pretty solid label that's, you know, soon to be one of the biggest things ever. I just think that I haven't really heard enough to say, oh my gosh, Jack Boys, man, this is it so far. Now, what I heard on Astro World, where whether it was no bystanders, can't say, both of which had Shaq West and the other Don Tolliver. When it comes to outside of their work, that work at least, Mud Boy by Shaq West didn't really listen to that much except for the one time I listened to it. Don Tolliver haven't really heard much except for a couple singles he has put out. And it's kind of like, dang dude, like you could have put out a hit after hit if you you know, rode off the coattails of Can't Say, because Astro World was a big deal when it came out. Those who were around who paid attention to music around the time, Astro World was a pretty big deal. I really feel like that's like Travis Scott's graduation in a sense, and not like to say those records are the same, but I'm just saying like in terms of Travis Scott getting his name out there and being noticed, I really feel like that album really put him on the map. It's really kind of cool that Travis Scott has put out a project each year since 2013, all the way from Al Faro to this year. Yes, I'm counting Huncho Jack with him and Quavo. That project wasn't his best, but a, it's a project nevertheless. Travis Scott's not going to be on every song from what it looks like. You know, looking at these tracks, all I see is Jack Boys on a couple songs. I'm interested in to what, what this is. This is seven songs long. It's not too long. There was that fake track list that came out with one saying Kanye West was on it and Nav and a few others. Don't know how it changed up so much and who even came up with those, but that's the thing about those track lists. Either the artist has to put, put out the track list first, or we have to wait until it's on Apple Music or Spotify or any other service. I'm done rambling about this. I just want to hurry up and get this video out here, see what I think about it. More importantly, because I'm just trying to hurry up and put out my year-end videos, which will come soon. So without wasting any more time, let's get into this new project, Jack Boys by Jack Boys and Travis Scott. The first track is Highest in the Room Remix, and this features, please forgive me for butchering her name. I just can't pronounce certain words like this and that word or name. Is a uh, Rosalia. I think I'm saying her name right. She's been getting a lot of buzz recently, and this also has a little baby. I heard his verse on Twitter. I don't know if there's going to be any changes to it, but from what I heard, I don't know if that verse is even worth being out here. But we'll find out. So yeah, this is going to be uh, the first track, Highest in the Room remix. I'm the highest in the room. Hope I make it out of here. Que siempre hay una sola Yeah, it's the same verse. <laughs> Super quick. I didn't realize Rosalia. See, this is why I gotta do my homework when it comes to certain artists. Because I've heard Rosalia around, like, on Twitter. I heard her name a lot, and, or seen her name a lot. And I was just like, oh, I'll, I'll listen to her. Now I realize she's someone who uh, is a Spanish artist. I don't know if all her songs are in Spanish, but I mean, I, I don't really have much of an opinion because I don't know what the hell she's saying. She sounded nice. She did sound nice. And as far as Lil Baby goes, I mean, Lil Baby at this point is Lil Baby. Uh, <laughs> I, I, do, I don't hate Lil Baby at all. I think I've said this before. I don't hate Lil Baby, but he's just more of somebody who's just a catchy artist. I think anyone who's listened to Drip Too Hard or Yes Indeed or a few other songs where he's featured on, like Water with him, Schoolboy Q, he's just somebody who's there for the sake of a catchy artist. Honestly, this remix didn't really need to be on here. If anything, this was to... Probably get Rosalia and Lil Baby more shine, but at the same time, this was just to let Travis Scott, you know, remind people, hey, Highest in the Room is a great song, even though I'm kind of indifferent towards it because it's not the greatest Travis Scott song, 
to me, it's not my personal favorite. And I don't know if he's saving that track specifically for his next project that's probably going to come out next year. We'll have to wait and see. That was pretty solid. I just have one question. Why is it that the second track is called Intro? Typically, a, uh, a remix of a song is at the end of an album and then the first track is Intro. But I'm not the a r at Cactus Boys or Cactus Boys, what the heck? Jack Boys. So I can't speak on that, but hey, it is what it is. I guess we're just gonna have to get into the next track, intro. Getting chills off of this. I'm just gonna start that last four, last four seconds over. And I'm just gonna go have it go straight into the next track, Gang Gang, which it just says it's by Jack Boys and Check West. What the fuck is we? <laughs> Me and Kevin are cool. Paparazzi, we see your roof. Is it a blue? I see you holding out of my chains. I'm knitting all of the loot. She like how I talk. She need to ask this bar. Get in my chambers. We Not bad. Probably if I was the one putting the track list orders of this project, I would have had intro be first, then gang gang. Honestly, highest in the room remix at this point should have just been the last track, but I guess just for this being an EP or a little tiny project, it is what it is. It's not that deep, honestly, but still, yeah, I'm actually kind of impressed with that like posse cut of Jack Boys. Uh, I had to look up real quick while the song was playing who was on the fourth verse or, you know, pretty much the last verse of the song. It's somebody named Luxury Tax. Never heard of them until today, which, <laughs> I mean, I don't really know too much about Cactus Jack, like who's all on there, except just, you know, the names I've heard, such as Shaq West and Don Tolliver. And I know Chase B as producer is a part of it. So that's another thing. But yeah, honestly, that was actually a pretty good track. I really liked it. Let's get into the next track. Uh, Had Enough. This feature is Quavo and Offset. And it's by Don Tolliver. <laughs> I can't Don Tolliver just put out a whole album. That was a great song. Uh, it's kind of like, damn, why did that have to be such a short song, too? That was like a two minutes and 20 seconds. And well, we're halfway done with the project. <laughs> and I mean, so far, it's a pretty decent release. Um, I'm obviously going to say more at the end of this, but I'm liking what I'm hearing so far. I'm curious to see what these next three tracks are like, because the next track is Out West. This features Young Thug, and it just says it's by Jack Boys. So. Curious to see what this sounds like. That was one of those songs where it was to me the beat really saved it and kind of the hook. Young Thug at this point is just Young Thug. <laughs> Uh, if y'all still want to see my reaction to so much fun, it's on my hard drive if y'all want to see it, but I'm very indifferent towards Young Thug at this point. I don't hate Young Thug at all. Some of his, some of the biggest songs of this decade were, or some of my favorite songs of the decade were by Young Thug, but I mean, I don't really have much of an opinion on him because he talks about the same thing. Uh, I think what makes him as unique is just his voice and how catchy he is. Also, this song should have just been said like, you know, Travis Scott featuring Young Thug, but... Hey, if he wants the Jack Boys title, so be it. It's his label. But yeah, solid song, but I really love the beat. Let's get into the next track, What To Do, and this features Don Tolliver. Okay, it's obvious. That's the one. That was just everything about that track i really love the dark sense i really love the collaboration with travis and don tolliver honestly at this point like i just want to hear a don tolliver project if there is mixtapes of his that are out i probably do need to check them but i want to hear don tolliver now like how does he sound today or where yet how will he sound in 2020 i'm very curious to see what that's going to sound like me personally that's definitely going to be a track that's going to be on some playlists too i, I can guarantee it <laughs> let's get to the last track gotti 
and it's by Jack Boys, and it also says it's by Pop Smoke and Travis Scott. My bitch love Coco. <laughs> Honestly, in my opinion, I would have preferred if What To Do was the closing track, but I mean, it is what it is. God, is the closing track, and if I really wanted to, I could probably switch up the entire track list if I made a playlist of this project, and I think I will, because when it comes to my first initial thoughts on Jack Boys by Jack Boys and Travis Scott, I'll say this. I'm glad this project's out, because <laughs> I'm kind of curious to see how this project will sound. Um, this is unrelated as hell, but I do want to throw out there, I think it's funny with these uh, label projects or these uh, pro something like this, it's funny that how they have to, in order for it to get streams and sales, they have to add in the like the owner of the label's name in this project. And what I'm saying is, like this this album could have just been called Jack Boys by Jack Boys, but it had to say Jack Boys and Travis Scott because if Travis' name wasn't attached to it, people would be less likely to listen to it. Kind of like how Revenge of the Dreamers 3, it's not made by Dreamville, it's made by Dreamville and J. Cole. Or better yet, Cruel Summer isn't but it's by good music but it's funny how the title is Kanye West presents Cruel Summer. I just think that's funny because Double MG or any other label doesn't really do that just based on what I've seen but we're in a different time now so I just think that's kind of funny to throw out there. Anyway I'm glad to see that we do have a project where it does show or better yet finally reveals like all the talent that Travis Scott does have because let's face it Travis Scott in this day and age to me is probably one of the biggest artists in music and now that the decade is pretty much over he's really like made a staple in the game like that he is here to stay and not only that but he has a group of people that he has signed to his own label that they have the potential to do great things as well just a few of these songs like gang gang had enough out west what to do like those are all songs where it's like you know what y'all can say what y'all want about travis scott and even some of the people on there but they do have a thing for melodies and great beat selection and catch catchy hooks are they going to be <laughs> i hate doing this are they going to be as raw as griselda is those are two different groups, so I'm not even going to compare them because Griselda is just known for, you know, those gritty bars and all that other stuff. Meanwhile, Jack Boys, from what it looks like, is just going to be a catchy song, songs that will definitely complement car speakers or just speakers, period. Um, they have a great beat selection, as I've already said before. A lot of these songs are just catchy. Now, I do have a, some minor issues uh, with this project no project is you know a true perfect project what i mean by that is it's like this i really don't think the highest in the room remix needs to be on here especially with this being like a posse album if anything who should be on the remix if i was travis scott or if i was writing a label if one of my hottest songs is going to be on this project i want people from my label on it not so much rosalia and Lil baby because if it's a project where i'm showcasing the talent that's on there why would I have artists that are completely unrelated to my label not be on here? Does that make sense? That's one thing. I do think another thing is, I mean, Gotti doesn't really have to be the last track. I wish it would have been What To Do as the last track. That would have been like, you know, something that was kind of like an ominous feel, but like a great way to just kind of close it out. That's just my thing. And again, Out West. In rap, that's the beauty of it. You can make whatever t topic on a song. I do think it is kind of weird and a little silly for Travis, or not even Travis Scott, but for Young Thug to describe what it's like to get his dick sucked. But it's Young Thug, so of course that's expected for him to just rap certain things and just be like, wait, what? But that's the beauty of Young Thug. And had enough, I mean, that could have been a longer track, but th th at this point I'm just nitpicking. It's kind of crazy, like I had said before this video started, or before I did this reaction, that yeah, I don't think this album's going to be even in my honorable mentions, but... I think it actually might be. Um, I'll have to figure this out all tomorrow. Oh man. <laughs> Which, at the end of it, before I get ahead of myself, I will say this. Uh, this is uh, a project that I think caught a lot of music fans by surprise because I didn't think we were going to get this. I thought this year was just going to wrap up and that would be it. There was rumors of a Rihanna album dropping today, but that obviously didn't happen. We just going to have to wait until 2020, hopefully, for a new Rihanna album. But either way, 
in terms of this project, I do think it was a fun listen. I do like that it is short because one of my biggest gripes is with an artist that I don't know about or a label that I don't know about. I don't like listening to super long, drawn out projects if I don't really know who they are. So it was really a smart decision to have it at seven songs. If you don't count the highest in the room remix, very smart to have it at six songs. So that was very smart on their part. And over and above all, I'll just say this. To those who love Travis Scott and you love him so much, you even love his label or the people on his label, such as Chef West and Don Tolliver, Luxury Tax, whoever that is. Um, I do think y'all should check this out. Y'all probably already have by now. So at this point, let me know your favorite song on the project because I am curious to see what y'all think of it. To those who haven't really listened to Travis Scott, like, I don't know how you haven't, but if you haven't listened to Travis Scott, I do think that you, you should listen to Astroworld, if not some of the songs he has put out, like the hits. Listen to that and then listen to this just to get a feel of who Travis Scott is. And not only that, but listen to Astroworld, such as the songs like No Bystanders, and can't say because they'll do those do have people from his label on those songs if you haven't heard the song uh mo Bamba, that's another song you should check out too and also one of the most recent hits by don Tolliver that he has put out i can't think of the name to save my life but so listen to that and then listen to this and just see what you think of it to those who don't like travis scott you don't like don Tolliver. You don't like Sheck West, which a hey, I, I can't say I blame you because when I first heard Mobamba, I was mad because to me I just saw no talent in just screaming on the song. But if you just don't like any of those guys, I do think you should listen to this at your own risk. I do think there's one or two songs that would catch your ear. Uh, but then again, you know I can't make somebody love something they hate, and I can't make somebody hate something they love, and that's just the way it works. But definitely try to see if you can check this out uh, at any time. So now that I'm done talking about that super quick, uh, I did mention this in my little thank you video for the 300 subs that I will try to put out my year end list. I really, really hope I can, uh, especially before 2020 approaches us. Uh, I got to put these videos out by next Wednesday. Uh, it's been a great year for music, honestly. I'll say way more about that soon but um and especially my favorite albums list i'll talk about like how this year was actually really good despite what people have said uh, i will try to put out my honorable mentions video but at this point actually <laughs> i'll put my favorite songs video i hope i can tomorrow there might be an honorable mentions video i said on twitter that i was going to put it out but at this point i'm kind of thinking of just squeezing my favorite albums video my honorable mentions video in one We'll see what happens. I do want to talk in depth about why those projects, you know, were great, just not great enough to be in my favorite albums of the year list. But yeah, we will see what happens this weekend. I will try to put out as much content as I can. Thank y'all for tuning into this video and thank y'all for all this other stuff that's happening this year. It's been really great. Hope y'all had a great happy Christmas or happy holidays, whatever y'all celebrate. If you don't celebrate, I hope you had a pretty good week. And yeah, thank you for tuning in uh, for this project. Let me know down in the comment section what you thought about it. Please like the video and please subscribe to the channel, all that good YouTube stuff. Thank you all so much for watching. As always, you are the best. I will be sure to put all those videos out soon this weekend. And until next time, I'll see y'all later.